Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to solve the equations based on GCE. So this is the first question. It is picked from 2022 paper 1 GCE question 3. So if you have a paper, you'll find this question. Then question 2, it will also be picked from 2022 paper 1 GCE question 19. Okay. Now, let us start solving. We will start solving starting with the equation one. So to solve this equation, first of all, this nine should go to the other side. So what to have is that is four x power two. When this nine crosses the equal sign, it will become negative nine x then equals zero. Since when it cross the equal sign, what will remain here is nothing. So that nothing will be presented by zero. Then at this point, we have to find what is common. As you can see, what is common is what is x. So we have x. So this x goes, this x now, we divide it into 4x squared. Now we have 4x squared. So we have uh, 4x squared. We are dividing with what? With x. You see that? So this x will be cancelled. And here, since the x, there are 2. When we cancel, there will be just x. Meaning, there will be just 4x. So here is 4x minus this x into 9x. You have 9x over x. This x and that x will cancel. What will remain is a 9. So here is a 9 then equals to a zero. Remember we are solving an equation. So at this point, we'll use what we call the zero property since it is equated to zero. So we'll say x, this x equals to zero. So equals to zero. This is our first value. x is equals to zero. Or this one, what is in the bracket? 4x minus 9 equals to 0. So 4x minus 9 equals to 0. What we have just done, it is called the zero property. So from there, we have 4x equals, you know, this, this is negative 9. We cannot subtract this. They are unlike terms. So this 9 will transpose back this side. So it will become 0 plus a 9. So 4x equals 0 plus 9 is 9. To complete to find the value of x, we divide both sides by 4. So we say 4, 4. We cancel x, 4 into 9. That is 2 times remainder 1 over 4. And these are the values of x. x equals to 0, x equals to 2, 1 over 4. Now we are going to solve the second question. So this is the second question. Solve the equation x1 over 3 equals to 9. So what I've just done here, I've just copied the question here. So there are certain things that uh, you have to understand. So this x here, it is called the base. Okay? You see that? Then this 3, which is here, okay? It is called <coughs> the root. And this one, it is called the power. This one, it is called the power. So, what we are going to do is that since we know this is the base, so I will write the base. So let's say we have x power 1 over 3 uh, equals to 9. Uh, what we are going to do, since this is the base, so I want to maintain the base. I maintain the base. This 3, remember we are saying 3 is the what? The root. So it will become a cube root. Okay, cube root. Then you have 1, uh, this 1 power of 1. So you can put everything to the power of 1. Then equals to a 9. Now, you know, when we are using the rules of indices, anything raised to the power of 1 is a number itself. So we end up getting the cube root of u. Uh, sorry, cube root, uh, yes, cube root, calculate here, 
cube root of x then equals to a 9. So it's what we end up here when we have cube root of x to the power 1 we just end up having cube root of x. Since anything raised to the power of 1 is a number itself. You see that? Now from here uh, how do we solve okay from here how do we solve uh, for x so to solve for x what we just do we don't want to see this what this cube root so we we'll just say we multiply this side with a3 and also this side we multiply with a what with a3 so this 3 and this 3 the and the square root they will be cancelled so you have x equals to 9 to the power 3 you see that so this uh, in the bracket like this it means this 9 is raised to the power 3 meaning it is 9 times 9 times what 9 then from there x equals we have to multiply 9 times 9 times 9 okay so what we can do we can do it in stages we can say 9 times 9 is what 81 then 81 times a 9 9 times 1 is 9 uh, this 9 times 1 is 9 9 times 8 is 72 so our x is equal to 72 I mean 729 so this is the value of x so 729 so meaning that if you have uh, I can prove it from here or from that side if you have uh, 3 cube root of 729 it should be give you uh, this answer should give you a 9 so I can prove it using a calculator uh, just for the sake of your interest okay so before I prove it using a calculator I want you to know that these questions are paper one you don't have to use your calculator I'm just using proof of for the calculator so that you understand so I'm going to find the cube root of 709 to see if it will give us a 9 so now you see here where there is this symbol present the cube root so i'll place shift at this symbol you see there will be a three there a cube root then 729 then 729 you see that then i say equals so equals you see nine okay so that is it nine meaning here we find nine is equals to nine so that's the proof okay so thank you uh, for watching otherwise we'll be given more questions so that uh, you practice and practice mathematics is all about practice